company of Compelvia takes place. I'm in on location at Java Jumbo in Fort Orange, and I'm here with Melinda Driscoll, who created a really cool um, book club called the Little Rockers Club. Um, hello. Hi, Pavlina. How are you today? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Um, and you have the Little Rockers Club that meets here every third Saturday at Java Jumbo. Um, so tell me something about when you meet here. We meet here every third Saturday of the month, and I feature an instrument once a month. Um, last month, we featured the bass guitar, and as a matter of fact, my daughter's preschool teacher plays bass, and she came up here and uh, showed them the instrument and played for them. We did some games and activities, and we had a really good time. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm in about my seventh month of that now. Okay, that's really cool. It inspires, I'm hoping to inspire children to want to play a musical instrument is what it's all about. Yes, that's good. Um, and you actually started this from when you wrote your book called The Little Rockers Club. What inspired you to write that book? My children, my grandchildren, and their friends. Just sometimes we get together, I'd play my guitar, they'd pick up their instruments, we'd sing songs, and watching my son play his guitar and his, some of his friends were in bands and just one day I was cleaning the house, I was vacuuming and I just started thinking of these rhymes. Um, my very first character was from my son Richie, um, rockin' Richie, who plays guitar and um, he was my very, very first character I came up with. And I just kept going from there. Um, his friend Dylan plays drums, so that's where I got the inspiration for the character, Drummer Dylan. And it just kept going and going and going, and I'm at, on my step eight book now. Oh, so. Um, and you've been at Barnes & Noble doing a lot of book signings. Where else can people get your book? Um, they could get it on any major online store, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, TatePublishing.com. Um, we have it here in town at Java Jungle and uh, at the Book Rack in Port Orange. Okay. They can cool. buy it. Yes. Um, and Miss Melinda, you do lots of um, community stuff, right? Um, so what can you tell me about that? Well, what I'm doing, I'm um, taking up a collection of people's unwanted musical instruments to give to the local schools for their music programs. Um, the drop-off point is here at Java Jungle. In combination with, uh, I also donate a portion of my proceeds of the sale from my book to uh, music education. Oh, that's good. Um, and so if the kids um, want to come to the Little Rockers Club, um, at Java Jungle, how can they get to you? They would just show up at noon um, on the third Saturday of every month um, here at Java Jungle. We're in Ravenwood Square Plaza here in Port Orange. And uh, just show up and come and have a rockin' good time. To learn about musical instruments in a fun and creative way. Would you need to bring anything? No, not really. Just uh, sometimes I'll, if they want to bring their own little musical instrument, if they have one, they can bring that along. But there's no need. I usually try to supply everything. Okay. And okay. Do you have any future plans? Um, my first major thing, I, I would just like to get this first book out. I, I need to sell 5,000 copies, and then my publishing company will go on to my next book in the series, which is The Little Rockers Club, Go to the Zoo. Yes. And um, that's my next big step, is just getting this one out here, and then who knows, one day maybe it'll be a cartoon. You never yes. know. <laughs> um, and how can people reach you? They can go to my website, www.thelittlerockersclub.com, or they can call on my cell phone at 451 5944, area code 386. Okay. Um, and, well, thank you for talking to me. Oh, thank you so much, Pavlina. Um, and once again, that website was www.thelittlerockersclub.com. Thank you.